Hello submarine friends. Today is the day I'm going to dive in the pool. I've got a safety strap on here and it's connected to my excavator and my friend will be on standby in case there's any kind of an issue to yank the sub out of the pool. Uh, it's pretty safe. I'm not really worried about it, but you should always be cautious doing this sort of thing. So let's dive it and see what happens. was a perfect dive. Well, as you can see, the submarine works. I dove it in the pool, no problem at all. It sank perfectly evenly. I couldn't be happier with it. Has a teeny little list to one side, but it really doesn't matter because once it's underwater, it levels itself out perfectly. And that's because it has sufficient ballast weight. So the life support system, I've been testing it. It works fantastic. The CO2 scrubber, it must be this new absorbent I'm using. It's it really works well. I, I can't believe how low the, the uh, CO2 level is in there. Uh, the oxygen flow meter seems to be working just fine. So this thing's ready to go in the lake. I have made some structural changes to it though. I've added some electric penetrators. I've had to drill through the hull and add them. And I've had the acrylic cylinder off and on a couple times. So it would be prudent to do a pressure test. So. In a couple days, I'm going to run out to Cooney Lake with it, and weather permitting, and I'm going to do another unmanned pressure test. It's really easy, it just takes a day. And then I have peace of mind, and then I can start diving in the lakes, no problem at all, nothing to worry about. So, ciao for now.